your hopes, you sometimes take the beauty for granted. But every now and then you come to realize just how lucky we are to live in such a rich and diverse landscape. There is just something magical about being in the mountains, looking at the way the light changes throughout the day, highlighting the stunning landscapes and creating a sense of peace that for me is just hard to find anywhere else. As humans we make out just a tiny part of this ecosystem, yet our impact is huge. On the one hand directly, when you think about ski resorts for example, where amounts of resources beyond our imagination are spent and whole mountains are literally moved for the sake of tourism. And indirectly by contributing massively to climate change, which causes immense stress on glaciers and the ecosystem relying on the meltwater during the summers. As a result of human-induced climate change, glacial landscapes are at risk of desertification. The rapid decline of glacier ice mass leaves no time for vegetation to follow. Erosion takes over and a downward spiral towards a desert landscape is set off. Climate change and the melting of glaciers, in our opinion, is an unstoppable process. This does not mean that we shouldn't still do everything possible to slow that process down, but eventually we also have to think about how we react to this change. We believe that it is crucial to propose methods that address those consequences. This project is our contribution to the efforts addressing desertification in alpine landscapes by deploying synthetic lichen structures that help to form microhabitats. In our first on-site visit, we collected some samples of material and vegetation around the glacier ice. Especially lichens became really fascinating for us. A symbiosis of algae and fungi, able to populate completely barren land. Tiny structures with an incredible complexity that only became visible after closer examination. We started to scan some of the samples with a high resolution camera and produce point clouds and digital models of them. This enabled us to further explore their unique and complex surface. With the different scans in hand and the idea to create 3D printed synthetic lichens, we experimented with different forms and designs trying to mimic the function of lichens. At some point we realized that we already have those beautiful complex models with all the information in the point clouds, so we might as well use them.
So instead of designing the form of our objects, we started to design a framework to create models directly from our scans. Every dot of the point cloud becomes a voxel with a size according to parameters calculated from geometric features of the model which are stored within each point through color values. Parameters conducive to vegetational growth are assessed through satellite data and on-site explorations, yielding case study areas to deploy synthetic lichens and observe their impact. Selected areas are scanned and digitally recreated, enabling us to freeze a moment in time of such unique entities that glaciers are. Every year, new scans can be done to create a timeline of the glacier's condition, preserving it for future generations to come. Point clouds of areas can be further explored in digital space. Geometric features are calculated and the information is stored within the points. They further allow for direct comparison of landscape and intervention object. Three D printing with biodegradable filament granulate enables the addition of substances in powder form, like microorganisms algae and nutrients. This allows for a straightforward way to produce prototypes for small-scale tests of material and morphological behavior. We believe that as designers we have to propose new ways of dealing with the results of climate change. Echogenesis shows new ways to look at these challenges, towards an active role in shaping our future environment. Utilizing synthetic lichens at the naval stage is a sensible way to interact with this fragile ecosystem and can help to change the trajectory towards a rich and biodiverse landscape.